What's up everybody, in this video we're going to take my brand new $900 top of the line Vortex Razor Spotting Scope and put it up against my, or they're both ours, well <laughs> he bought his, but the SV Bonnie, uh, their highest end spotting yeah. scope. I'm not sure if it really has a fancy name, but I, yeah, they will know. be linked in the description box below if you want to go check them out and check out the full specs. You can look at both of these. Now this is the... The previous model, this isn't the latest model of Vortex, we'll preface that. You can still find these new, like I did. I saved about, what was it, the new ones are like $1,400, $1,500, and I bought this for like $900 roughly. It's supposed to be basically the same glass. Yeah, same glass, there might, there's just mostly cosmetic differences when I could find, and and I, I bought a spotting scope for our bear hunt. We don't, we don't own a spotting scope, and mm -hmm. we were going on a bear hunt that we wanted to, we thought we were gonna be doing a lot of glassing, Mm -hmm. Turns out I didn't really need this because it was so thick that we just had to walk logging roads. Coming into the bear hunt, we had SV Bonnie contact us and offered to send us a spotting scope. And going into it, we're like, well, yeah, we can definitely use more than um, one, more than one spotter. We don't really want to pay for one, so we're like, heck yeah, send it over. Unfortunately, we didn't get it in time, so we couldn't really do it in the field testing. But that's why we're doing this unbiased review now, and we're gonna let you go. We're going to put the phone scope up to them and let you guys take a look for yourself so you're not just taking our word for it. Like I said, they did send it to us, but we really have no reason to lie about our opinion. Yeah. And like I said, you're going to be looking for yourself anyway so you can make up your mind. Um, we're going to be using the phone scope here with my iPhone 8. I think it takes 4K or 1080p video, so it takes good video. Um, and I'm going to do my best to make sure it's centered in, in the rings and everything mm -hmm. to give you guys a true fair comparison. So uh, This one's... Uh, we forgot to mention this one retails for about 250. That one's about 900. 900. So that's going to be some of the biggest difference. C getting it out of the box, they look the exact same. Almost identical. Coming out of the box and the box packaging looked the exact same. Like yeah, everything. Kind of scary. It was really scary. And honestly, if that bothers you that you're getting a uh, foreign kind of copycat, which it's just kind of the way it is. Um, just keep that in mind and you can make your, that can influence your decision, but, and to be honest, I don't really like that part of it, but at the same time, uh, it is cheaper and we'd like to get new people into hunting. Not everyone can afford a $1,400 new spotting scope, $1,400 new spotting scope. So a $250 spotting scope is going to allow more people to get good quality glass. If, if it is quality, you can judge for yourself, but get good glass and, and the more people we can get in hunting, the better. So, right. so we like that aspect that it's cheaper, but just keep that in mind. Um, it is kind of a copycat. Yep. So both of these are 20 by 60. The only difference is this one's 20 by 60 by 85. So it's got a little bit bigger um, end here on it. So it's got a little bit bigger field of view. This one's a 20 by 60 by 80. So they're really almost apples to apples. So yeah, and the, both of them are their highest end models. So yep, couldn't be doing a yep. more fair comparison. Really. So. They both have the, t the dual focus rings. I mean, everything that this one has, this one kind of has because it copycat it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, it's got the removable eyepiece on both of them. Um, and it's got the, the tilt adjustment. So you and your buddies, depending on if you're different heights, you know, like you can't see me, but people are different heights. People, everybody else can look at it. So let's go ahead and put them on the phone scope here and let you guys be the judge on which one you think is better. Okay, so I'm recording on the phone scope. This right here is the Vortex at 20. 20 power, not, not really zoomed in on my camera, so it's not cropping. But as you guys can tell, you can read literally everything on the, the target there, you can see everything. So now I'm gonna start adjusting the magnifier here. And now I'm going to adjust the focus. So that's... So that right there is at 60. You can see the butterfly flopping on the, <laughs> the target. You can read everything on the target right now. I can zoom out a bit and give you... Oh, no, I'm not really. So, I mean, that's the full Vortex Razor image in it. It looks really good. Like, that's super clear, and that's why that's why we got the Vortex is for for kill shots on animals if they're going to be like 300 yards away or so. We wanted to have good clean footage. So, 
as you can tell it, it looks really clear all the way from 20 to, to 60 so now let's go ahead and put the SV Bonnie on and give you guys the full comparison okay so now I've got the SV Bonnie here on the phone scope looking at the same image so the same targets and everything and from what I can tell, it kind of seems like, and we'll review, review this in the footage later, it kind of looks like the edges are just fuzzier, and that might be the only difference. So I'm going to zoom in here. Okay, now i got to adjust the focus for everybody. It kind of, ooh, gosh, don't get dizzy. So we're, the field of view is smaller, and we knew that was going to be a difference. Okay. So it's kind of the same picture. It's probably not the exact same, but this is at 60 on the SV Bonnie. And the field of view is a little bit smaller. And we knew that was going to be the case because it's an 80 instead of an 85. So overall, I looking at it, the edges might be a little bit more blurry, but you can still see, you can still see the gnats flying around. They look pretty clear. Everything still looks pretty decent. So you guys can all be the judge of that. All right, so in conclusion, looking at both of them, you know, cosmetically they're exact same. They have all the same features. Build quality appears the same. I mean, it, it even has the same markings here, as you guys yeah. can tell. And they put, like, the logos in the same place. So, And they even have the, the same red ring with, the, like, it's, it's like, honestly scary similar how well they are. This one does also have a removable eyepiece. It's the same as this. It doesn't come off the same way. Um, but overall... It, it's it's pretty good glass if you're a guy who spends a lot of the time in the mountains and hunting out there I'd probably lean towards getting the the vortex the brand name one mainly because one it's it's supposedly but better glass and two it's got the good warranty on it vortex got the, the lifetime mm. no fault warranty on it if you break it drop it whatever they'll help they'll replace it so I mean that right there is a, is a huge factor in the in the decision, and plus it's. But you can also buy ten of these, or not yeah. ten, but like you can buy five of these in the same. Yeah, you could buy three vortex, people. That, so. We could have bought three of those for the yeah. same price as this one. And from our review, like it's really not that much difference in the glass. So. It's a, yeah, the vortex might be a little clear. Yeah, but I will say. Honestly, if you were to not look at them like right back to back, though, you probably wouldn't be able to tell. It's true. But we haven't looked at animals. Glass for better yep. bucks might be different. Yeah. You know, I'm not sure. Right. So overall, I think if... But if you're a, a summertime velvet buck filmer here in the Midwest... Like, it's like 100% perfect. I think you're going to regret spending over Even. a grand or close to a grand on a spotting scope. So it does it does its purpose and it does it well. And it's overall, it's a good product. Yeah. You know? Definitely. I know people want to be harsher on it but it, it really is pretty good so check out the links in the description box below to check out the products more in in depth and look at them from there and uh, if you guys like the video make sure you hit the thumbs up button and to subscribe to see future content thanks peace